Hello. We're going to look at one of the most commonly used shapes in the curves adjustment layer, which is the basic S shape. Let's start off by looking at this with a just a stepped tone bar like this to see the effect of it. Normally when we want to increase contrast, we reach naturally for the contrast control. So watch what happens here when I turn the contrast up and down. I go up, down, up, down. Notice the ends don't change so much. A lot of this is happening in the middle. Yeah? It's increasing the step change between each of these, but it's not doing much at the ends. If we turn that off and turn on the contrast, this is the curves layer, now when we put on an S curve, and we do this typically, we'll t click something like the 75% mark and move that up a bit, and down to the 25% mark and move that down a bit. And what we're doing here is we're increasing contrast. If we exaggerate this a lot, watch what's happening in the middle. See we're affecting the middle here. The edges are not changing too much. There's some change here, but a lot more, it's more contrasty in the middle. In fact, it's completely flattened this here. So this is getting almost you know, the same black and at the top end is the same white. This is because what's happening to the curve. Down here, we're de decreasing the radius so that by the time we've got to the first step here, the 10% mark, we've only increased a tiny bit. So in other words, it was here and it's going to go to around here, a very low amount. So with the low gradient, the we are reducing contrast. So we're low gradient up here, reducing contrast. In the mid-tones in the middle, this is where we've got a steeper gradient than the red 45 degrees. That's where we're increasing contrast. So contrast adjustments affect the middle. They're about changing the mid-tones. And most of what we see is in mid-tones, so it makes it look good. But it's at the expense of the darks and the lights. Let's have a look at this in a picture. So if we go and get a curves here, then here's the, the image. This is a fair, relatively flat, you know, dull picture here. And if we pick the 75%, it doesn't have to be exactly this, but you know, we'll, we'll do this just for symmetry. And then on the 25%, and we pull this down. And if the it goes through the center point, that means we've got a symmetrical down and up the same amount, which is what the contrast does. And notice how this has changed the contrast. Turn that off, turn that on. See, that's the contrast is now increasing across the picture. And this is what we typically do. This is, notice it's very shallow. It, you don't have to change much. You, you can even make a tiny little tweak to it. Oops. A tiny little tweak here. If you if you get an extra clear node put on here, the easy way to get rid of it is right clicking, which is what I'm doing there. So if I turn this on and off, it's still notable. But we can just increase this as much as we like. In fact, you can get even more contrast out of this if you push it than you'll get with the contrast control. If you start to knock things here, making things white, which will mean to flatten these whites here, you can always move these things around the place. It's easily done. And if you get it going through the center, you'll get a symmetry here. So here, that's very, that's highly contrastive, maybe even a bit too much. You can always, of course, reduce the opacity, which you've got down here. So it's less of an effect, even though you change that. So there's multiple ways to control it. And you can even play with blend modes, which we won't bother with this time. So there we have it, the very basic S-shaped curve, which is often symmetrical, but doesn't have to be. You can decide to have more whites up than, than blacks, or the other way around. It's a way of increasing the contrast, but it only happens in the mid-tones. 
Yeah, this bit here, here between these two, this is where it's got steeper. Here it's flattening off. So at the top end here and the bottom end here, the contrast within the darks is less. The contrast within the whites is, is, is less. But around here, in the middle, in the middle tones, the contrast is increasing quite significantly. Thank you very much for watching.